Welcome to shop time. Would you like to see how I made this? I'll show you. Before you even knew what you had, you shot it, and you edited it, and you posted it on YouTube. Dislike. I really hate that man. If you're not familiar with the channel Pocket83, he makes very interesting and detailed videos on his YouTube channel. He does a lot of puzzles, uh, and he will also deep dive into concepts just to kind of wrap his brain around them. So when Pocket contacted me, it was March of 2015, and he asked me if I wanted to do a collaboration and try to make the cane from Jurassic Park. So these bugs are called mosquito eaters, and they are rampant in my area, but only for a very short period of time. When I was approached by Pocket to do this, and I harvested about four or five of them, put them in mason jars, is I got better and better, and by the time I finally figured out all the steps of the process, the bugs were gone. I couldn't find them anywhere. In fact, I got so desperate that I offered my friends $5 a piece for them if they had any. Um, it's been a, a year, and they're finally back which means I can finally do this. So here's one of my earlier attempts, and you can see the amount of bubbles in there. It's just, I had a lot of trouble in the beginning with getting the bubbles out of the casting. This block is an inch and a half by an inch and a half by four inches, and I thought that was gonna be big enough, but I think, I think it needs to be large. It's been cut down on the table saw. Two, two inches by two inches by four and a half inches, and um, now we can make a mold out of it. All right, and this is just some poster board that I picked up at the craft store. And I think I just want it a little bit bigger than my blank. The super glue will do the lion's share of the work, and the packing tape will reinforce that. Look at that. I made a box and I didn't glue my fingers together. All right, now I've never done this before, so this is all new territory for me, but the concept seems simple enough. Uh, I've got my mold, and I've actually taken a couple drops of super glue and glued it down. All right, I've got a mixing container, and a stir stick, and gloves. Oh, right, and silicone. So I know you can buy silicone in large amounts, but I just bought this at the craft store, and I think it should be more than enough to date to make my mold. Equal parts of the two compounds and mix them until they are a consistent color throughout. And we're just going to start mixing. Okay, and I'm starting to get a pretty consistent, very attractive sky blue color here. I just need to start pouring it directly into the mold. Now one of the suggestions they gave was to pour it high to try to minimize bubbles. You can still kind of see a little bump right here at the edge of the block. So I've got a tiny bit left here, and I'm going to try to scrape it out. Okay, so that was a bit of a mess, but um, it's all done. I should say it will take 24 hours to cure, so I'm going to have to wait a full day before moving on. So word to the wise, if you're going to do this, Wrap this in packing tape first. I didn't even think about that. It's totally sticking to the silicone. Well, it came out, but it's not pretty. So, the mold is quite possibly the ugliest mold that has ever been made, but it holds water. And that is all I care about at the moment. Today we're going to be using polyester resin, and the directions tell us that if we're doing multiple layers, how many drops per ounce each layer gets. So our first layer, We'll get five drops per ounce, and we're going to do five ounces, so 25 drops of catalyst. Next thing we'll do is add some dye, amber, which will hopefully give us that cool look. Five, six, seven. And now 25 drops of the catalyst. Two, 23. 24, 25. And we can tell if we like the dye color at this point as well, and if we need to add a little bit more. I'm doing five ounces on the first pour and six ounces on the second pour 
So since I added seven drops of dye to this, I will probably add eight to the next. Okay, and given the sheer volume of resin that we're pouring, we're going to go really slow because it's going to take a while for these bubbles to break up. I'm going to give it a good 20 minutes, keep my eye on it, and uh, we'll come back when it's at the jelly stage. Okay, we are at the jelly stage. I gotta move fast. So, and uh, the only other thing you have to be aware of is that any moisture in the bug will cause bubbles in the casting. So what I'm hoping for is that he will stick to this layer. All right, so um, only thing to do now is mix up another layer of resin. All right, so the hope is that that little bugger is stuck enough that it will not float when I pour this in. Only thing left to do now is wait. It's been a little while since that casting. This is the one that I showed you, but I felt like it was just too light. So I switched and added 22 drops of dye and got this one. Still a little light. I switched to this one, which was 24 drops of dye. My bug exploded and I was starting to get a little discouraged at this point. I had to go catch a bunch more and then I cast this one. I think it's going to finally work out for us. I pushed my luck and tried one more and had another success. So I've got two successful casts. Many many bugs died for this experiment. But we can finally move forward. I think I'm like 18 months total and I haven't even finished my part of it and given this over to Pocket. It means that he's still got all of his stuff to do. He has basically just been in a holding pattern for 18 months waiting for me. It really is pretty looking. It looks like a giant Jolly Rancher right now. Uh, and I'm going to be using carbide turning tools because I've had luck with them in the past when doing polyester resin. For a human to live. Okay, come on. Almost done. Once we're done with the end, I think I'll maybe relax a tiny little bit. Oh! Are you kidding me? Just told you I was gonna have a heart attack and then you tried to give me one? Okay. Five eighths of an inch. All right, I'm just going through the sandpaper here. I started with 120, and then went to 180, 240, 300, 400, 600, and this is now 800. It takes a while, but it's worth it. The micro mesh will take that to a mirror shine. This video was not 65 million years in the making, but it was a long time. I started this in March of last year, and it's taken me a long time to get to this point. So I'm really pleased with it. It looks amazing. Um, there's almost no bubbles in here. 
The cast looks like amber. I love the way the bugs look. Um, I only yelled at my family like half a dozen times. I only had three fits and four breakdowns. So all in all, it was really easy. No big deal. They are now on their way off to the other side of the country to Pocket's house. And before you ask, no, I have no idea what Pocket looks like. I'm having a really hard time believing that that was almost like eight months ago. So this arrived on my doorstep one week ago. I've um, had most of the video done since June and um, yeah, it is so excited to have it finally all together and completed. And Pocket's work is amazing. Please head over there, check out his video, um, and you will see an impressive attention to detail to get this just, just right. It feels great, it's got a fantastic weight to it, and I would easily put this up against the movie prop, and I think ours is much better. This is a museum quality prop. Mr. Spielberg, if you're ever in the California Bay Area, you're welcome to stop by the shop and uh, check it out. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I am so glad to finally be able to share this with you. Um, please do me a favor and share this video. That would help us out a ton. Thank you very much, and I will catch you guys next time.